told me you would tell the rest when weeping made you write the story of it, of our two cousins coming into London. Where did I leave? That sad stop, my lord, where rude, misgoverned hands from windows tops threw dust and rubbish on King Richard's head. Then, as I said, the Duke, great falling rook, mounted upon a hot and fiery steed, which his aspiring rider seemed to know. With slow but stately pace kept on his course, whilst all tongues cried, God save thee, Bolingbroke. He would have got the very window spake, whilst he, from the one side to the other turning, bareheaded, lower than his proud steed's neck, bespake them thus, I thank you, countrymen. And thus so doing, thus he passed along. Lack poor Richard, and where rode he the whilst? As in a theatre, the eyes of men, after a well-braced actor leaves the stage, are idly bent on he that enters next, thinking his travels be tedious. Even so, or with much more contempt, men's eyes did scowl on gentle Richard. No man cried, God save him. No joyful tongue gave him his welcome home. But dust was thrown upon his sacred head, which with such gentle sorrow he shook off, his face still combating with tears and smiles, that is, of his grief and patience. That had not God, for some strong purpose, steeled the hearts of men, they must perforce have melted, and barbarism itself have pitied him. But heaven hath an end in these events, to whose high will we bound our own contents. Bolingbroke are we sworn subjects now, whose state and honor eye for eye allow. Here comes my son, Omero. Omero that was, but that is lost for being Richard's friend. And, madam, you must call him a Rutland now. I am Merlin pledge for his lasting fealty and truth to the new maiden. Welcome, my son. And who are the violets now that strew the green lap of the new come spring? Madam, I know not, nor I greatly care not. God knows I had as lief be none as one. Well, bear you well in this new spring of time, lest you be cropped before you come to prime. What news from Oxford? Hold those jousts and triumphs? Rot, I know, my lord. They do. You will be there, I know. God prevent not, I purpose so. What seal is that that hangs without thy person? Yea, look'st thou pale? Let me see the writing. My lord, tis nothing. And no matter then who see it. I will be satisfied. Let me see the writing. I do beseech your grace to pardon me. It is a matter of small consequence, which for some reasons I would not have seen. Which for some reasons, sir, I need to see. I fear, I fear. I should fear. Tis nothing but some bond he's entered into. Bound to himself? What doth he with a bond that he is bound to? Why, thou art a fool. Boy, let me see the writing. I do beseech you. I may not show it. I will be satisfied. Let me see it, I say. Treason. Foul treason. Villain. Traitor. Slave. Where he twenty times my son, I would have teach him. Hadst thou 
rogue for him as I have done, that would be more pitiful. But now I know thy mind. Thou dost suspect I have been. 